Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we'll be discussing the first battle of Machias. And the subject of today's video is a man named Jeremiah O'Brien. Now before we get going, as you may be getting accustomed to watching this channel, I have never heard the name of the town pronounced out loud, I've only read it myself. It's spelled M-A-C-H-I-A-S. I believe it's pronounced Machias, but that might be the J. Mandrish Americanized version, it may very well be of French origin, which would probably make it Machia, but I am going to call it Machias until otherwise corrected in the comments below. Thank you for doing so, and let's get on with it. So, in the six weeks after the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the British were encaptured in Boston and trying to survive. The only way they could get supplies was to send ships out elsewhere, and they did this. They sent a ship to uh, Maine, uh, which was at the time Massachusetts, but... Now, Machias is in modern-day Maine. They sent three ships, one from the British Navy and two trading vessels, and they were going to sell some wares and then purchase lumber and foodstuffs for the army and the people of Boston. So they arrive, and the townspeople of Machias see these ships come in and want to sell goods so that they can feed the British, and they have a meeting, and the townspeople overwhelmingly vote, no, we are not going to buy their supplies. Then the captain of the Navy ship says, well, if you don't buy this from us, I'm just going to bombard your small little seacoast town with cannon fire. And they had another meeting and went, oh, okay, yeah, we'll definitely buy your stuff. And unfortunately, there were certain people, certain patriots who were said, no, we let, let them bombard us with cannons. This is not we're patriots. We're not just going to bow to their whims. We're about to... St they just started a war a few dozen miles from here down in, uh, in Boston. So, no. One of these people, of course, was Jeremiah O'Brien. So, Jeremiah gets uh, about 30 people together, and first they storm one of the vessels there to s trade wares in the harbor. And after they take that over and say, you're not trading here, uh, they realize uh, there was another group of patriots who had attacked the warship it's hard to call it a warship, uh, but it was a navy ship, uh, a smaller vessel. I'm not sure exactly the style. I don't have a lot of uh, history of marine. I'm not an expert in marine warfare. We'll say it like that. Uh, but the, the the British navy ship starts sailing away because it was attacked by a few other patriots and took on some damage. So Jeremiah gets his 30 men to board a smaller boat, and they take off as fast as they can, and they catch up to the Margareta was the name of the ship. And they actually board it and kill the captain who had threatened to bombard the town. And as soon as this happened, the other, the first mate and the rest of the ship realize they've been overwhelmed and they surrender. So Jeremiah O'Brien takes over as captain of this ship and he renames it from the Margareta to the Machias Liberty. Two words, Machias Liberty. Soon thereafter, the state of Maine decides to form its, I'm sorry, the state of Massachusetts decides to form its own navy. And as I've said lots of times at this point on this channel, uh, in addition to the Continental Army and Continental Navy, each state had its own army, which was a militia, and its own navy. So when Massachusetts formed its navy, they recognized the feats of Jeremiah O'Brien and named him as the very first captain in the Massachusetts State Navy. And under this position, he actually traveled up to uh, Canada and attacked Fort uh, uh, St. John's, where there was a fort at the time, and he burned the fort to the ground. Unfortunately, he did shortly thereafter get captured and taken prisoner, but O'Brien was able to escape his confines and retreat back to the uh, Patriots' lines. Although he went to private life, he actually invested in building a new boat with a, with a partner, and he used that boat to be a privateer which, so technically he wasn't in the Massachusetts State Navy anymore, but he was fighting for the Patriots. It was just a more profitable way to help the Americans at sea. That's why uh, privateering was so popular at the time, because you're basically given a license to go rob other ships, as long as they were British, and you got to keep a big portion of it. So it was a lot more financially rewarding than just joining the Army or joining the Navy. So, either way... Uh, he does this till the end of the war, and then he retires to private life. And he spends about 30 years in private life until James Madison becomes president. Like I said, 30 years later, James Madison becomes president, and he actually uh, asks, uh, awards O'Brien with the position of customs collector for the port of Machias, because Machias had grown 
in importance, even though it was still a smaller port, it was a port and people were bringing in wares and he became collector of customs to collect tariffs for the federal government. And that is the story of Jeremiah O'Brien and the first battle of Machias. There was a second battle, which uh, I should probably uh, make a second video about and hopefully one day I do. As for now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you really liked it, make sure you hit subscribe because I put out these videos five days a week. And if you want to support this page, check out my, the special offers I have on my Patreon page through the link below. Thank you again. I am Jason, and I will see you with another video tomorrow.